In this short tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Film and Filter feature within PaintShop Pro. A couple of decades ago, before digital cameras, there were a number of film manufacturers such as Agfa, Kodak, and Fuji, just to name a few. These films had differences. For example, Kodak's Kodachrome is more sensitive to red and yellow frequencies of light and would produce warm results. Their Ektachrome is more sensitive to blue and green frequencies and these would produce cooler results. Fujifilm had warmer colors as well and would enhance reds and greens. I mention this because in PaintShop Pro we have taken the characteristics of various film types and allowed you to apply them to your own images. From the Effects menu down to Photo Effects we can select Film and Filters. Here you can see a fairly clean dialog box with my before and my after picture. I have the ability to zoom in, zoom out and then we take a look at the film looks. On this particular image I want to take a look at this and I think I want to make this a little bit warmer so I'm going to select my warm earth tones. Once it's processed it you see it's warmed it up somewhat. I also have the ability to add a filter so this will simulate me putting a filter on the lens of the camera before the shot was taken. From my creative filters I'm going to hit the drop down and I'm going to select sunset. As I say, I want to warm this up some. That's a little bit too much. I'm going to drop the density of the filter down. Very easy to do. I've got a slider that I can drag along. I'm going to bring this down to about 15 or so. Made it not quite as warm. Might be a little bit too warm in the water. Again, we can drop that down a little bit more. And there we have it. I'm happy with that. I like the coloring on the sand and in the flowers here. I'm going to click OK to that and let's just take a look at another image. I'm going to open up this image of the ducks. And again, up to the effects, photo effects, film and filters. Now in here, I want to pump up the colors somewhat. It's actually not too bad this way, but let me just see what happens if I try a different film type on this. Let me go with Vivid. I like that. And as far as filters go, let's go with a warming filter. And that's nice. You'll notice that I have a, the ability to change my filter color. So this is the warming filter by default. It's this light pink color. Clicking on this then allows me to bring up my color dialog box to allow me to change the color. I can change the intensity and do a number of different things to this. I'm simply going to click OK on this and we'll leave it like that. Click OK and we can go on to our next image. Again, I'm just showing you some of the different filters and features that are in here. Let's open up this image. From the Effects menu, Photo Effects, Film and Filters. You can see these colors are kind of vibrant. I want to do something completely different with this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mute the colors down on this. And so I'm going to select Muted Reds. And as for my filter, hit the drop down. I'm going to select Night Effect. Now by default, the Night Effect has this beautiful blue color. I kind of like that, but I'm going to bump up the density of this filter quite a bit. And this will give me something completely different that I can use as a background or something in a design that I'm working on. I'll click OK to this. And now the next one I want to show is Glamour. Let's open up this image from the Effects menu down to Photo Effects, Film and Filters. Now typically you would expect to see Glamour as a filter, however because there are certain characteristics for this filter we've actually put it underneath the film looks. So by hitting the drop down and actually before I do that let me go ahead and I'm going to remove this filter completely. In my film looks I'm going to select Glamour and one thing you'll notice right away once it's processed is it's actually added a bit of a soft focus. Now under the creative filters I'm going to hit the drop down and for this one I'm going to select warming. You can see it's given a light peach color and just warmed up the image nicely. Click OK to this and then the final one I'm going to show is the foliage. I'll open this up and again from the effects menu down to photo effects, film and filters 
and here we have it set to glamour i want to remove that i can simply go back to a vibrant foliage and i want to cycle through these just so you can see the differences before i do that let me turn off the creative filters and so we can see what the raw image looks like here we have it as vivid vivid skin tone again when you're uh, looking at your images feel free to play around with these filters and get the look that you desire I'm gonna leave that a vibrant foliage one other thing I can do you'll notice on the right hand side I have the ability to save a preset I can also randomize the parameters simply clicking on this will give me some random settings that I can go through and uh, maybe I'll get something in here that I like And that's all there is to it. I do hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, head on over to learn.corel.com for our Discovery Center and check out what's posted there.